Crawford, and I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Ponte Vedra Beach Branch Library. You may have joined me for several reasons today for the presentation I'm about to give. It could be because you're a teenager looking for that first job. Maybe you're a college student about to graduate and you want to know how you can get that first career job on your resume. Maybe you're someone who's changing careers and is looking for a job in a totally different field than the one that you've been working on for the last 10 or 20 years. Or, most likely, you're someone who may have recently lost their job and is looking for a new one immediately. Right now, that's a concern that faces a lot of the patrons that we have coming into our libraries, how to get that job that you need right now. So that's what today's presentation is about, how you can use books in the St. John's County Library System, which are free to you with your St. John's County Library card, how you can use our database, BrainFuse Job Now, with your St. John's County Library card, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and how you can utilize Career Source, which is a local organization that you can either visit in person or online to get the job that you need. So thanks again for being with me today as I introduce our first book, which is The Big Book of Job Hunting Hacks with 420 Tips by Brenda Bernstein and John Henry Weiss. So I chose this first book because I love how it's laid out. It's got just little tips all the way through the book. So it's not a resume book or an interview book or even just a job hunting book where you have to read it from cover to cover to feel like you got something out of it. Not the case at all. It's a big book, but you can flip to whatever section applies to you. And I think that's really important because if you're looking to get a job right now, you may not have time to sit down and read a book that's several hundred pages long. So for example, in this book, it answers questions like, how long does my resume need to be? Or what kind of questions should I close with in my interview? Or even things such as, how do I deal with the fact that maybe I've just lost a job and how do I pull it all back together and get ready to get that next job that I need immediately? All of those questions and a lot more are answered in this book. So it's a really helpful resource to get those questions answer for yourself in a quick and timely fashion. All right, on to our second book that I've chosen for today, which is Finding Work You Love, Three Steps to Getting the Perfect Job After College by Kirk Snyder. So the difference between getting that job perhaps in high school and that job that you get after college is that job in high school is probably going to be a part-time job because you're going to school full-time. It's not necessarily something that you plan on doing for the rest of your life. It may just be something that you do part-time during the school year, perhaps full-time during the summer. But that job that you're looking for after you graduate from college or after you've gone to vocational school or after you've decided exactly what it is that you want to do as a career is a very different animal. And that's where this book comes in. It helps you figure out who you are, what your skills are, what your education is, and how all of that parlays into a job that's really gonna give you a high degree of satisfaction and make you feel really confident in doing the work that's involved. And so that's a much different animal than if you're looking for a part-time or a summer job. So that's a great thing about a book like this is if you're about to graduate from college or maybe you're going into your senior year of college or maybe you've been struggling to find that career position after you've gotten out of college, this is a really good book to visit or revisit to make sure that you're on the right path and that you're headed in the right direction to get that first career job um, when you're ready to go get it. All right, so we're at the final book that I plan on highlighting. However, it's not the final book that I recommend because at the end of this presentation, I'll share a list of more suggested books for you to check out about job hunting, updating your resume, getting ready for that interview, and anything else you could possibly wonder about job assistance. 
Something to keep in mind, the three books that I'm highlighting today, as well as the list that I'm gonna provide at the end of this presentation, after I talk about BrainFuse Job Now and the Career Source webpage and organization that you can visit, is that all of these books were published either in 2020 or 2021, and that was done by design. That's not to say those are the only books that we have in our library system. They're not. Why I chose 2020 and 2021 were for a few reasons. First of all, things have changed tremendously since the pandemic hit in March of 2020. For example, people were doing um, online interviews and Zoom interviews and things like that before, but they're doing them even more now than they ever have before. So even if you're someone who said, well, I don't need to do a Zoom interview, I'm right here in in town, I could just go and do my interview the way I've always done it. It's not necessarily the case. Even if you're local, some organizations are still gonna to prefer to do their interviews with you virtually. So it's important to know exactly how that works. Another reason that I chose newer books is because the job market is always changing and what employers are looking for and expecting from you is constantly evolving. So for example, picking up a resume book from say 2008 might help you in some regards because there are some things about resumes that haven't changed, but then there are other aspects that have in terms of how long a resume is acceptable and how it should be formatted and in what order it should be. So that was one of the reasons also that I chose newer books to make sure that you were getting the most recent and updated information possible. So along those lines, this book, which has been published very recently, is called Success After Service, How to Take Control of Your Job Search and Career After Military Duty by Lida Citronin. So the reason I chose this book is because there's a lot of veterans out there or people in active service who are looking to get back into the career field, back into the workforce after they've served. And that's sometimes easier said than done. It can be a little bit of a rocky transition it could be very different from perhaps what that person experienced in military service. So a book like this is great because it's going to help smooth that transition. It's going to say, what did you learn in military service? And what sorts of skills did you develop there in addition to whatever education or skills or experience you had prior um, to serving? And how can you use that to your advantage as you re-enter the workforce? and what are some um, potential minefields you need to watch out for, and what are some things that you can do to give yourself the best opportunities to succeed. So if you're somebody who's a veteran who's now looking for work, or you've just come out of the service, you're looking to re-enter the workforce, then this is going to be a really great book for you to read to make sure that you get on the path that you really wanna get on to get that job. Okay, so we've made it to the home stretch. I've highlighted three books that I think are very helpful in terms of job assistance and getting you ready for interviews and tweaking your resume and the whole process. And following this clip, you'll have a list of more suggested reading of 2020, 2021 books that I recommend in our library system with your St. John's County Library card to check out and peruse. However, Rather than just ending with just books, I did want to highlight a free database that we have, as well as a local organization, both of which are dedicated to career development and job assistance that I think would be incredibly useful to you, whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult, and whatever your circumstances may be in getting a job right now or even in the future. So first and foremost, I wanted to talk about BrainFuse Job Now. BrainFuse Job Now is one of several databases that we have and all of our databases through St. John's County Library System are free with a St. John's County Library card. They're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're a lot easier to use than you think they are. And they're really helpful. If you've never been in BrainFuse Job Now, you don't know what you're missing because there are so many good resources in there that are gonna help you get that job that you need right now, or that job that you're thinking about getting in the future. For example, in BrainFuse Job Now, you can do several things within the database itself. You can upload your resume and get expert tips from a resume coach of how to make it better, uh, which is invaluable because sometimes after you've worked several hours 
on your resume, you can't see the forest for the trees anymore. You need an outside perspective to give you tips and suggestions. And sometimes it's easier to take those tips and suggestions from a completely unbiased, unconnected resource to you than maybe handing it off to your significant other or to a friend or family member. And this person is skilled in looking at your resume in a very objective sense and saying, okay, good information, your resume is too long or it's too short, or you've got really good content, but it's disorganized. Here's how you can make it better. So that's a really valuable thing. It's also got um, job assistance, um, tips, as well as resources about finding jobs in the community that are of interest to you that match with your skills. There's all sorts of interview tips and things that are good for you to remember. And while you can find some of these things in books, for sure, sometimes maybe you prefer doing a search um, online or maybe, you know, the library's closed or that book was checked out. And so here's a way to access some of that same sort of information um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whatever it is that you need it. One additional aspect of BrainView's job now that I love that a book can't provide is they have live interactions with coaches. So you're thinking, well, what does that mean? Okay, well, if you access BrainView's job now with your computer, your laptop, your phone, your tablet, whatever it is you choose to do, you can tap into live assistance, which means that with a coach, right there from your screen in live time, you can get resume tips, you can practice doing a mock interview, you can ask all sorts of questions and get your answers in real time, meaning it's basically the same as someone sitting across from you who is skilled in job assistance and career development and you've got their ear for the time that you need and you can ask all the questions that you want. And sometimes that is just a really gratifying thing. Sometimes you've got time to kind of research and kind of wait to hear back and flip through some books and stuff like that. You know, you know the job is either coming down the pike or maybe the job isn't on fire right this second and you've got some time. And then there are other times a job opportunity comes up. You've got a week to apply for it before the posting comes down or you've lost your job. You don't have any time to spare to get that new job. And BrainFuse Job Now meets that challenge by giving you live assistance right there on the spot. So even if you're not looking for a job right now, and especially if you are looking for a job right now, I can't recommend it highly enough that you check in with that database with your St. John's County Library card because all those free resources are at your disposal. If you don't have a St. John's County Library card, you can always get one at any one of our six branches during our hours of operation. Now, the second resource I wanted to mention is called Career Source, which used to be called Work Source. And our local Career Source organization is actually on State Road 16, which is fantastic because that puts it right, about right in the center of St. John's County. So no matter where you live, if you're in Hastings, if you're in Ponte Vedra, if you're in St. Augustine, if you're over in Fruit Cove, it's all about the same distance from all of those places to get to Career Source. And Career Source is offering two opportunities to you. They're all about job assistance and career development, and you can parlay and that information and access that information on their website at your disposal whenever it's available, uh, whatever is convenient, I should say, for you. Or you can book an appointment at the Career Source Center on State Road 16 via their website and meet with someone in person. Now they've got all the different COVID-19 protocols in place to make sure of your safety as well as the people that work there, but you can book an appointment if that's something that works better for you. Some people are okay with accessing information in books. They like to be able to turn the pages and have a piece of paper and write down notes. That is something I enjoy doing. Some people like perusing websites or, for example, BrainFuse Job JobNow and finding all the resources and again taking notes. That's also me sometimes. And something else that's also me is sometimes it's nice to be in person with someone right in front of you and just be able to ask things as they come up, show them your resume and get that, get that reassurance that you've got someone on your team who's invested in you and wants to help you succeed. And I love that about Career Source because you hear about 
the, like the college center at the high schools to get you ready to find the college that's the best match for you. And in college, you are so much more ahead of the game if you take advantage of their career center before you graduate to find out what sorts of connections that they have and ways to take the education that you've gotten and parlay it into that first career job. And what I love about Career Source is you're never too old or too young or too experienced or not experienced enough to be able to use the resources that they have. So thank you again for joining me today. I hope this presentation helps you get that job you need right now or that job you're looking to get in the future. Be sure to stay tuned so you can see a list of more suggested reading titles that we have in our library system published in 2020 and 2021, all about getting your resume ready, your interview tips in line, getting that job that you need. And of course, don't forget to stop by your public library branch or call us or um, ask us questions via Ask a Librarian, which is by email, by chat, or by text, and let us do whatever we can to help you get the job that you need right now or in the future. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. <music>